Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to finish the Saving Your Disaster campaign Dark Event Massacre. As you can hear, the elders are already trying to tell us that we should better leave or take their offer, but we're not going to do any of that. I have taken the time to reload every single weapon in our at our disposal. Good part about it is uh, when you are switching uh, in between the different locations uh, all of uh, the weapon mods will refresh so the autoloader is refreshed and at the beginning you do have enough time to essentially reload every single weapon and that's dearly needed because we we are up for quite a beating This is going to be fun. I always had a soft spot for those fine uh, for the final room here. It's like one of those situations where you really want to make sure that you are doing everything right. So much time spent by the book. Concealing ourselves. And yet here you are. Moving up. Just as we had envisioned. Good. We can already see the enemies. Good. We can move all the way to here without triggering. Commander's avatar could easily move in next turn. And fake hopfight would also stay back there. Good. Everybody else waits one more round. And we're almost, almost ready to engage. Uh, this here will trigger all three of them. Okay, so 100% chance to mind control the Sentinel or 50-50 on the Prime. Are we going to be greedy? I think we're going to be greedy. All right, let's go. Come on. Mind control resisted. That is unfortunate. We still got a domination here for the Sentinel. We need more hit points on the field. Alright, that worked like a charm. Now the question is how do we get this one here shredded? And the answer is pretty simple. Blast them. Just do it. Prime will react. I hope the Archon uh, will just take a sh shot. No, instead he panics. Well, that's fine as well. Pulling ourselves up here. And let's continue to hit the avatar and hit him really, really well. This is going to mark him with hold a target. Ooh, 
He's trying to play his little dirty games there. But not with me and not today. We are going to run up on him. Um, this is potentially going to be his last day. Nice. Alright, implacable. Moving into the right direction because the next avatar will spawn on the top right corner. So we might as well just start moving there. Not immediately, but eventually. Good, we're moving up. Archon Prime is oh, currently panicked, which tends to be a good um, point in time to actually take a couple of shots at it. Unfortunately, not enough actions left over. Alright, so we got some Rage Suit Panic right here. <laughs> Fantastic, I love it when they start to shoot one another. And what else are we dealing with? Alright, a couple of snakes. Well, that is pretty much serviceable no problem with the snakes now what do we do with these guys over here i would suggest we're starting with a good old dimensional rift that nicely sets them up Unfortunately, our sniper really doesn't have that great of an aim yet. That's a bit of a problem, to be entirely honest. Squad side, holo targeting, well... I hate to say it, but that's not good. Good, we're going to mark the prime first. That worked out surprisingly well. Okay, I see. Although he's panicked, he can still take shots. Gotcha. Flashbang could hit all three of them, but wouldn't kill them. Not yet. That here is a 50-50. Might as well take it. It's okay. If not, we would have set him up. This here is a kill, which leads into death from above. Don't have the sidearm yet. Taken care of. That's it. I'm out. Alright, 
this should be level. Lethal. Oh, come on. Minimum damage and minimum damage. Knuckles takes a good old uh, heal right there. Doesn't have implica uh, implacable, which I was hoping we we could give it to her. The prime is almost dead. What's over there? Your flesh is weak. Instead, we're just soul firing and killing this guy with our bare hands. Alright, next turn the avatar is going to spawn, which means Hawkbite is definitely going to move over for some extra tasty Bladestorm attacks. Overwatch onto Knuckles. And the commander takes a central position over here. Archon moves into an exposed position, mainly to be a great target, and also, of course, in order to kill some of uh, the Vipers. I would love to see that overwatch that they are usually doing. Oh, look at you, they uh, switched up the direction. Interesting. Well, it seems like the cover that you've just selected isn't worth a lot. Sorry to tell you, but that was a stupid idea. Okay, so far so good. Good. Three faceless ones. It's quite clear that we can take uh, these guys. Alright, we're parrying. Free reload. And let's get in position right here so that we can see those guys over here. One down. Another one down. out of curiosity that's a pretty solid chance of actually killing this guy I'm going. in the meantime if we're moving up can we still hit that face yeah that would be good, that is not good. well so much for not hitting it Go. 
Okay, finally, that was a-okay. I'm wondering, we potentially should have healed. Just out of curiosity, like, would that be a kill? Yes, it would be. But with a poison, it's difficult to pull that off. Moving up with the commander. And let's prep both of the snakes. Let me correct that. Let's prep one of the snakes, the other one dies automatically. Good. Well, that's another 90% shot that unfortunately missed. We're going to retreat with Knuckles here. And there isn't much more that we can do. I wanted to become aggressive, but... Yeah, there's really no point in doing that. Instead, just overwatch. And we're good to go. The priests could be nasty because they do have stasis and stasis can break our mind control, which of course we don't want them to have that, uh, that advantage. So we're going to kind of withdraw a little bit. Did he really just move into open uh, open space? Couple of vipers here. Nothing to be really afraid about. We gotta deal with poison. That's the only thing that matters here. Oh yeah, and the yeah, th those guys are not a problem either. Healer mode. All right, knuckles no longer is poisoned. Can we shred? Unfortunately not. The moment that we could shred this guy would be perfect. I think we're just taking the 100% and holo targeting it. Hitting the Vivern on the other hand wouldn't be bad either. So this will trigger Overwatch, but that's fine. Our tank is supposed to tank, so that is absolutely working as um, expected. Forty-five percent to hit. The priests were coming from here, so it's going to be an issue. I don't want to lose. Um, 
the mind control. On the other hand, apparently we can't even get down. We're sort of stuck up here. Let's hit the Vivern. Good, didn't work out. Focusing on the Avatar. Some damage and... He is marked. Some more damage. Unfortunately, still quite healthy on the armor department. But that will change now that we can rupture it. Fantastic. Even small bits of damage should kill it. Nice. Guess what? Undying loyalty. Which is exactly what I have uh, needed. Like, out of all of the dark events, that one was the one that I needed. More undying loyalty. I'm on the move. Good, we're moving up over here. I know that there were um, sector uh, sectors over here, so let me just start uh, to do some rampage. All right, let's find out how we're going to do that. One down. Heading out. Thousands to go. Two down. Target disabled. Three down. down. Reaper is still going, and it's going strong. Inspire. Not exactly what I was looking for. I was looking for a really, really big piece of damage over there, but maybe we're just going to use our Mimic Beacon.
Next spawn will eventually come here. Is it clear? We're moving closer into the middle. Still trying to find the right angle here. The vipers are annoyingly close. I don't want to go up there. This here would be okay. This is only half cover, so it would open us up for a potential pull. Yeah, I'm not seeing the massive outplay here. There's going to be Mimic Beacon, which in itself is okay, so this aggressive move here will not be punished. Let's try to hit. Nah, it didn't work out. We Elsewise we could have set uh, this guy here up for a kill. I mean, we can still do that, theoretically speaking. But it's more likely to actually kill this guy here. All right, here is the mimic beacon. We're seeing the final spawn. The AB Apex are harder, but they are certainly not as hard uh, or hard enough to completely move us off uh, the battlefield. If we were forcing it and if I would have a tighter formation, potentially could argue that we could even stand here for quite some more time. Damage so far has been very, very limited. And they seem to be having no aim at all. The moment that they can't tongue grab, the Vipers are actually not doing doing a hell lot okay so one of them is uh, sustained mind control will fail we do have a mind shield it should backfire though there we go that's the feedback we're talking about yeah can't really do anything about that even untouchable does not protect you from stasis. <laughs> oh, I totally forgot about undying loyalty. Okay, so a couple more mutants. Surprising amount of mutants, all things considered.
But this guy should not strike back. This is only to reposition, nothing else. Where is the avatar? Okay, hmm, well. We can hit all of this here and the avatar on top. And we're having an action left over afterwards, so... Good, so, hmm, I was hoping we would shred a bit more, that was a bit disappointing. That was a bit disappointing. Shall we go for fanfare already? I think the answer is yes. Not even sure if... If the avatar can be frost bit. Apparently not in range. I mean, that's the alternative. But no, I think we're fanfaring. It's not going to end our turn. 10 points of damage, good enough. Let's mark it. Hold a target. Sticks nicely to the target. Unfortunately, he has selected the absolute other side of the map. Here with a Psy Zombie. Hmm. Not even that works. Alright, where exactly is that avatar? Over there. Okay. Technically speaking, from here to here, I should be able to see him. Meaning combat protocol should go through. All right, come over. Why is he hiding in the most remote of all corners? That's half cover and relatively close. I mean, we're opening ourselves up for some trouble, but I am guessing this will be the last round.
Good old 90% shots that are missing. Still can't fully reach him. But what we can do is we can summon a ghost and the ghost will have all of its movement and that should reach it. All right, let's try that and see if we can finish this guy. There we go. You thought you were clever, eh? You thought you could bypass us, eh? Not on my watch. And another undoing loyalty just to have a big fat middle finger. Without the elder stabilizing the psionic Okay, fantastic. Well, the campaign is officially saved. That's the first saving our disaster campaign. But we actually played through the campaign because uh, the uh, author of the campaign requested to do it. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, a better advent certainly adds a lot of variety and some more complexity in the last room. We spread out this time instead of camping in one corner just to switch up the tactics a little bit. I think it has worked reasonably well, although you're typically better off with just camping one corner. The new classes of uh, the A better um, barracks type of uh, mod that I've seen, not a big fan of uh, those. I always was of the opinion that the long war classes per definition were not as well-rounded as uh, the uh, vanilla classes. They were more specialized and thus you needed just more micromanagement and larger uh, squads. And if you were playing with eight or ten um, uh, squad mates, they certainly made a lot of sense. But just from a pure kind of four to six player perspective, the original, just the basic four classes plus whatever you want to add to it, are just being such a stable force and offering so much to it. So I wasn't the biggest fan of that. Other than that, 20 uh, dark events, just the strength of um, Advent, the increased hit points, the Venom Rounds, uh, the um, Armor, the ability to completely dodge shots in the hundreds of strategic uh, layer mods. I can see why the author of the game struggled. And I want to thank him for sending his uh, saving the uh, his disaster campaign in. If you find yourself struggling with a XCOM 2 campaign, maybe you take this here as an option to, instead of deleting it, send it to me and let me know about uh, the campaign. And we can make a big fun uh, de saving your disaster run out of it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the content, leave a comment and a like down below and see you hopefully in the next run. Bye bye.